All right, YouTube, what's going on? Uh, just about moved in. Um, but um, I got a video request right now by a friend of mine that wants to know what do I think of today's uh, judicial system, you know, how the courts handle laws, you know, and people that get sent to prison and how it's being, all, all being handled, stuff like that. And if, first off, Here's my belief. I am, a lot of you probably have picked this up already just from me being on YouTube for a while. I'm the type of person, I'm going to tell you how it is. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I don't dance around the fucking bush. I just simply tell you how it is. But you would be amazed how many people do not like that. And trust me, I found out in my lifetime that if you tell it how it is, there's a lot of people that frown upon that. They hate it. I mean, I'm just, a, now some people would consider changing because, well, people don't like it. I'm just one of those people that like, hey, if you don't like it, move on. I don't care. So, that being said, I'm going to tell you how I really feel of it. I think the judicial system is very poor. And the reason I think it's very poor is because, for several reasons. I'll take, give you a couple examples here. Anybody that is under the age of 18 and they do adult crimes, they should do adult time. Period. Cut and dry. I mean, there should be no ifs, ands, or buts about that, but unfortunately it's not like that. They get a slap on the wrist, they get told, don't do it again, pretty much, and what happens? I would say about 95% of the time they, they do it again. Because they get that in their head that their age protects them, and it does to a certain extent. But my opinion, if somebody goes out and steals a car and they're 16, they should be treated as they're 18 or 30 or 40. It don't matter. If they're old enough to steal a car, they're old enough to go to prison. I mean, that's just my opinion. Now, I'm not the ruler of this country, and it's probably a good thing I'm not because I'd have a lot of enemies. But I just don't think that the country should turn their back on the law just because they're under the age of 18. That's stupid. I mean, that's just, that, that's, that's, that's stupid. Just no other word for it. It's stupid. Now, there's some states that have an age of consent law, and that's not just for sex. I mean, that's for everything. I mean, from at least what from I've seen in my state. Now, South Dakota, the age of consent is 16. Some states, it's 17. Some states, it's 18. Uh, I think that's all it is right now. It's 16, 17, 18. It used to be like 15. Iowa at one point was 14. I know that. Hawaii, I think, at one point was 14, but 14 is a little young. I mean, I will say that, but 16 is about the right age, I think. I think the whole United States should be 16. And that's not, like I said, it's not just sex. It's just to be trialed as an adult or just to be looked at as an adult in this country. Like South Dakota, you're, uh, if you're 16, I mean, in this state's eyes, you're, you're an adult. But if you head upstate North Dakota, you got to be 18. I mean, it's, I just think that's stupid. I think it should be all one number. But, then again, I don't run the country either. But bottom line is, just a quick wrap on it. There really ain't much I can say about it because a lot of people know my opinions. But you, for you YouTubers that don't, I think that it needs to be seriously reevaluated. I think it needs to be addressed that, hey, just because you're under the age of 18 ain't going to excuse you from the law. Period. Cut and dry. I mean, if somebody goes out, people, and hurt somebody physically and whatever they may do, I don't care if they're 13, 14, 15, 20, 30, it don't matter. It should all be the exact same charge and the exact same punishment. And I'd be telling you that would fix a lot of problems in this country. I believe it really would. Um, and some other things, um, like the people you have in prison today, I don't have exact numbers so don't quote me on this, but I, I think I heard at one point about 75% of the people in this country that are in prison today are nonviolent people. So think about that. Three-fourths of the people that are locked up today, and like I said, I don't know if that's the exact number, but it was around there, are nonviolent offenders. They, they're in there for drugs. Um, I'd say drugs are the, are the main ones. Um, but just anything that makes them nonviolent. Some people just happen to be at the wrong place with the wrong crowd at the wrong time. 
I mean, and then there you go, they end up in prison. Which, I don't think that's right. I really don't. I think people who are in there for prescription medications seem to be the main problem today in this country when it comes to addictions. Now, I know there's meth, there's marijuana, there's cocaine, there's uh, heroin, I mean, God knows what else. You know, I don't know, I don't follow any of that. But, um... People like that, I think, instead of locking them in a cell, I think they should be to a place where they get, um, you know, rehabilitated to recover from that. Because when you lock them in a cell and, and then you let them out two years later, what's going to happen? I, I'm almost willing to bet they're going to reoffend because they they didn't get taught. You know, they're addicted. It's an addiction. They can't help it. That's why I think they need to go to a rehab center and spend their whole sentence there, or at least part of it. To where they're getting treatment for this addiction they have. That way, when they get released, that they, they don't reoffend. I mean, but just flat out throwing them in a cell. I mean, trust me. There's probably I'm willing to bet there's probably more violent people out in the free. Well, odds are obviously, but out in the free world, walking the streets right now, than there is in prison. And I think prison should be used for violent people, the people that kill people, uh, child molesters, rapists. I mean. Those are the people you lock in a cell and throw away the key. I mean, that's just my opinion. But for people that are just in there for an addiction to a pill or a certain kind of drug, I think they just need to be sent to a place where they can re uh, be reevaluated or um, rehabilitated is what I'm looking for, but uh, and get treatment and get help for it. But I, I just don't see the, the point of throwing them in a cell because I don't think that's going to solve anything. I just think that gives them another reason to do it. Um, but, and the one other thing I'll say, money talks in the United States. Really, it does. I mean, if there's any place in the world that talks more than that money does, it's in the United States. And unfortunately, the United States has a bad reputation for that. Um, look, Michael Vick, prime example. I got nothing against Michael Vick. I don't know him, you know, don't care to know him. I don't care who he is, really. I don't care how much money he's got. I know he's a huge NFL star, but me, it don't mean nothing to me. Um, he did, I don't know what it was, a year and a half, two years for pit bull fighting. Well, just think about this. If that had been an ordinary guy like me or you, the guy down the street, we'd be probably doing 20 years, easily. That's, I, I don't think money should have a value on someone's sentencing. I mean, when you break the law, I think that should all go right down the drain. Whether you have no money or you're a multi-billionaire, it don't matter. You break the law, you break the law. But that's just, like I said, it seems that we turn a we turn an eye on people who got money and people who are under the age of 18 to think, of, well, the law really doesn't apply to them because they're the under age of 18 now. Nah, bullshit. I'm sorry, that's absolute bullshit. Everybody should get treated the same. <coughs> And I still got that shit a little bit. But everybody should be treated the same in this country. That's just the way I feel. And for those of you people who got a bunch of money, ask yourself one question. When you die, where are you going to take it? I mean, some people got a lot of money and they're actually decent people. I know a few people that got more money than I'll ever see. And they're decent people. Those people I don't have a problem with. It's the people that are greedy and think that uh, money talks and th they think they're invisible because they got money. Well, guess what? I got news for you. When you go up to the gates of heaven and you face God, what are you going to do? You got to write him a check? You got to laugh at you and slap it out of your hand and say, that shit has no value up here. And I know pe some people say, well, God ain't real, heaven ain't real. Well, that that's your opinion. I choose to believe it is real. And if it isn't real, then I guess I didn't lose nothing. But I choose to believe it's real. Matter of fact, I don't even, there's not even a question in my mind. Something makes everything happen every day. Whether it's God, whether it's it's something. But uh, that's all I got for you today, guys. And that's for my friend. Um, yeah, so that's the way I feel about the system today. I think uh, that's the way it should be. But unfortunately, it isn't that way. And um, yes, there's nothing you can do about it. But I just think that's the way it should be. So... Then, as soon as I get, uh, here, I'll show you guys this real quick. I got an old uh, grandfather clock there. 
and my 64 games and my PS2 games, and that's really all I got left to bring to the new house, and then I'll show you guys that after I'm done. And take care, guys.